hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i achieve this look using old hair yes guys i said it use hair and only my fingers that's it i didn't use no crochet needle nothing guys so if you guys want to see this please stick around So guys, this is my six weeks passion twist update. They still look pretty good. Y'all know I never have no edges. <laughs> but it looks like they're finally, grow finally growing back. So this is what it looks like after six weeks. It's not bad. I'm about to take them out now and go wash my hair and I will be reusing this hair to do my butterfly locks. That will be my next video so if you guys want to see this tutorial please stick around. I will not be showing you but I'll probably be showing you guys how we get these out but or not. I don't know. But it still look good. It still look cute for six weeks and this is on my natural 4c ear it was not silk pressed or anything if you guys saw the tutorial stick around for that see you in the next clip so guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish taking these out off camera and i'll be back so guys this is the hair that i just took out for my passion twist and that's what i'll be using for today's tutorial and this is my hair after it's been washed. I just put them in two strand twists. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I achieved this butterfly locks look using old used passion twist braids. Yes, guys, I said it. My remember the passion twist I did a few weeks ago. I'm gonna link the video up here. I'm using those old hair, yeah, to achieve this look. So, if you want to see more, stick around for that. And, guys, instead of plaits, I know a lot of the tutorials on here say plaits, but mine is simple two strong twists because I know a lot of people can't plait. So simple two strong twists and all I'm using is my fingers and the use here. That's it. That's it guys. I'm not using a crochet needle or any or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. This is the hair. This is how it looks after it's taken out of the twist from my hair. And I'm just simply gonna measure it up. like so and then I'm going to grab one of the hair that I twist and I'm going to put my finger through the twist be careful not to get it here instead put it offset not extremely to the same and just push push it through with your finger like that and pull down i pull mine down a little bit past my red wheel hair length so right there and then you're just going to hold the root extremely tight and you're going to twist from the root two to three times one, two, three, and just continue straight down. I have a video on how you can do the four locks, goddess four locks. It's the same procedure, so you can go ahead and watch that for more details if you still don't get it. And you just twist down with a longer piece. You just twist in to the end of the short piece. And guys, this is 
as I said before, old hair that I took out from my um, passion twist and I'm reusing it to achieve a different style. Bougie on a budget, baby. And you can just achieve the same look with brand new hair, it doesn't matter. Down, wrap it all the way down to the end. When you get to the extreme end, and what I did was twist. Just twist it to about there. Bend it at the end and just wrap back upwards. Wrap it, hold it as tight as possible and wrap it, just wrap it upwards. And guys, if you're new here, I upload twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 noon. I do hair tutorials, cooking videos, cleaning videos, and all things motherhood. So guys, this is what I was able to get done off camera. I was trying to film it before, show you guys before I started it, but I couldn't due to my daughter. So this is the best I can do because she's now done for a nap. I'm going to show you guys two more and then i'm gonna speed it up okay this is uh, how it came out of the twist so this is three strands that i use for the passion twist i'm just gonna take away one from it because i'm using two of this look two strands instead of three so now i have the two strands grab one of the twists put my finger Offset from the center and then I'm going to use push the hair through and pull it I did mine a little bit longer than my natural hair hold it at the root Bring it around three times or two times so that's so and then continue wrapping down i don't want a lot of tension on my natural hair so that's why i'm only doing it two times and then you just wrap it to the end And when you get to the end, you're going to do two strong twists until there's nothing left to twist. You're going to fold it right at the end where you started the twist. And you're just going to wrap it upwards. Try to wrap it as tight as possible. This is the finished look. Through here, through. And pull should be good hold at the root and begin to wrap Twist. 
band work all you all you really need for this style is just some use hair use hair and your fingers or your hands that's it if you do it my way and you need no skill to do a twist like it ain't gotta be perfect in case you can't do a um plait. This is the last final two strands and the last twist. Guys, in nothing wrong with reusing hair to get a brand new hairstyle. In nothing wrong with honey. The way this world is running right now, people losing their jobs and all that. You you have to try to save them coins wherever possible. If that means reusing old hair to get a brand new look, ain't nobody got to know, honey, unless you tell them. They ain't got to know. But for me, I don't care. Always trying to save a dollar whenever possible. Always. And you can reuse hair with any hair style. If you guys like videos like this, comment down below and let me know. So I can do more for you because I have ton. I can take these out and do another hair style with the same hair if you guys choose or want to see something like that. So comment down below and let me know and I'll be happy to do the video for you guys. I can use this same hair and get four hairstyles out of one. So one money spent, four different looks honey. Four different looks. And I mean I could go on and on but I mean I stick with four. I mean four is good. If you guys have ever done anything like this, comment down below and let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback, what you guys thought about reusing your hair and how much money you saved doing that. Because guys, y'all know hair is expensive. And especially if you're going to go to the salon to have your hair done, it's pricey. So if you can buy the hair one time, and use it for three different looks or four different looks and do it yourself you know how much coins you'll be saving definitely need to try it try it guys try it and let me know your thoughts and if you haven't done anything like this comment down below and let me know if you would consider doing it Y'all, I got to practice to do my edges. It's, it's, it's because I normally just, once my hair is done, I don't really care about no edges. So, I hardly ever do my edges. That's why your girl don't really know how to lay them edges. But, I need to learn. I'll be doing hair tutorials for you guys. Like, I need to learn to lay them edges. But, y'all know I'm pretty basic, so, I don't really care. But no edges, as long as my hair is done, I'm good. And I just like touch it up with some wax or whatever, gel or whatever. They ain't gotta be laid. So guys, I achieved this look without um, a mirror because I was literally doing the hair while I was watching um tv so i was sitting in the bed watching tv and doing this doing the hair without a mirror um without a crochet needle because i thought i couldn't find the big crochet needle I only had a little micro one that you used to do lacing so i that wasn't gonna work it was gonna take it was gonna take me way too long so i decided to freelance with my fingers and they did a fantastic job so no skills required guys absolutely no skills required to achieve this look no money spent and it didn't take a lot of time um it only took me a couple of hours and i would have been done soon if i wasn't attending to my daughter but that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna show you the end product now or the finished product 
Okay guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Share this video with your friends, family, remember to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts and how the style turned out. And see you in my next video. My next video will be a cook with me guys. I'll be showing you guys how to make Jamaican cornmeal dumpling. So stick around for that.